So before we send it for final printing, it's a good idea to run design checker. So right here I have a design that's the tutor tube template we made in previous lessons and I'm going to use this as an example of what happens when we run design checker. So in order to do that I'm going to go into the file menu right here and here you can see on the info tab you can see that there's the run design checker. So once I click this you can see that there is uh, an option on the right and right now just the general design checks are being checked on and if I want to do other checks like publishing checks just like this you can turn all of them on and you can see that there are a lot of things in check so if you want to send the things in email for instance you can actually uh, check this out and it only checks the current page as you can see so I enable all of it so right now let us just work with the general design checks and here it says object partially off uh, off page. So if I were to click this, you can see that this uh, it is saying that it is off the printing area. So usually, if you are tr trying to print this off in a home printer, this might be a problem. So let's just move this in a bit, and let's see. Uh, once I drag it in, what happens? It corrects it out. If I were to click this out, you can see that it says the picture is missing. So if, if usually that's an issue, then uh, you can actually go. If not, let's say I do not want any pictures because this is a template. I can simply go over here and never run this check again. So in that way, there's no issues anymore. So this is okay for printing according to the design checker. There's also publishing checks. I guess there are no errors for the publishing checks right here. You can go for website checks as well. And here it only checks the current page. That's the email checks. And here it says the text is a non-web ready font over here. So this is a non-web ready font. So we have to uh, choose something out. So if you are planning to send this in email, something like Verdana, all right? And you can see that it actually corrects itself. This text is non uh, web format. Let's change that to Verdana, which is one of the uh, web friendly texts right here. Same goes for this one Verdana, right? This one right here. Select all. Let's just change all of it to Verdana. All right, there you go. This one text has hibernation uh, gaps that may appear uh, in some emails, just like that. So let me just correct that out. Text has hibernations enabled. So uh, you can see that there's hibernation over here. Let me just correct that out over here by going on to my text format tool. So I'm going on to my text format tool right here and I'm going to disable the hyphenations over here. So uh, automatically hyphenate, no, press OK. And there you go, the hibernation is not there anymore. So you can see that this is how you can run Design Checker, Microsoft Publisher. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.